guys won't let me over. Texas. Hola, hola, que pasa, hola. We are westbound I-70, Colorado. The Grizzly Creek Fire. They had it closed down for, I don't know, 14 days? Something like that. Um, the Grizzly Creek Fire, Creek Fire in Glenwood Springs. Figured, uh, get ourselves a good video of it here fire in area do not call 911 they had this highway shut down of course completely closed and so there's two ways to go about it one would take rifle highway 13 north to Craig to highway 40 east to Steamboat Springs And then over Rabbit Ears Pass, Highway 9, come in Silverthorne and go that way, at the bottom of Eisenhower Tunnel, east side. The other route was take 650 from Grand Junction, go to Montrose, take Highway 50, up and over Monarch Pass, over to close to Selena, and then. Uh, 285 there, Buena Vista, on over to Fair Play, um, then on into Denver. There's some of the damage there. This is a south side of the highway to our left. A bear ranch. I didn't think that it went over the highway, but apparently it did. It's still burning up there. Or smoking, I guess it is. Ranch looks to be okay. See the fire right here in front of us. Where it was. And I'm sure we get close to uh, No Name, the other, the, what is this, the west end of the canyon. I think that's where the fire started. Top left over here, you can see his burnt. This road is so rough. I, I know they're doing some work to it from the tunnel, west side end of the tunnel. Right there, you can see up on top of that hill in front of us. So I guess the hanging lakes, hanging lake, uh, unfazed by the fire. I, I think it's down in a little gulch, like a little bowl, and the fire kind of went right above it, around it, and just kept on climbing, went right past it. See it's burning over there as well. burning it had burnt
somewhat burnt in here a little bit, as you can see. The left side of the highway looks all right. There's a little bit over here to the left. It's more like the grass caught fire. As you can see here. This is the Hanging Lake area. That over there, kind of how you get up to it. Into the darkness. We are on our way to Kingman, Arizona with a load of beer, Coors, deliver it tomorrow. A little bit of a fire there, burnt. Ate that hill up pretty good right there in front of us. steep cliffs right here and you can see there it burnt, burnt that hill up pretty good right up there and it definitely ate everything in its path up that way left side seems all right, the south side.
I figure out why they had it closed down for so long. First part wasn't that bad, but this probably could be. Because we're getting close to no name. bump burnt here to the left Go. That's burnt pretty good on the left hand side, south side here. Still smoking a little bit. I just climbed right up that hill. The telephone pole looks okay. Kind of weird how the fire is in different, like it's spotty. It's not like the whole area got torched, it's just certain areas. There we go. That's Quite a bit of burnage right there. And you can still see it burning up here in this canyon. Let's see if we can get a look see at it. Right back up in there. It's still smoking pretty good up over that way. discoloration on the roadway a bit but seems to be height It's kind of clearing the hills up here. Looks like public services up here fixing the uh, power lines. That's what those boys are doing right there. That 
would be the most devastated part, I think, right there we just went through. And here's back to normality. Kind of what it looked like before. We got these little joints right here that we keep hitting. It's the same up there, but I noticed because we they've been doing work up there on the actual westbound lanes, and um, they're a lot smoother now, which is nice. Here's the no-name rest area. Exit one more nine. It's like that red fire retardant. That tower up there, that little round, there's a, there's some rides up there. It's like a, um, like a day park or something like that. They have a few rides. I think you take the gondola up, but you can also drive up. Right here by Glenwood Springs. So one day I was coming through here, I was on the eastbound side, there was this guy right here was sitting there, and there was another guy right here, who ended up being a cop. But this guy was flying, and like, he was way behind me, I go, he's not going to get there before me. Well, he wasn't about to sit behind the truck, so he floored it, he was doing 75. And by the time he went past me, the way I know that, because it, the speed limit goes down to 40, construction 40. And you could see it by the tunnel there, the sign flashing 75, 75, slow down. <laughs> I saw it. He goes flying past me. He gets up there, I go, you never get, I never get the opportunity to see these people get busted. You know, like, I always go down Eisenhower Tunnel, or Eisenhower Hill, 35, because that's the speed limit. 38 sometimes, but, you know, always doing 35. And, and one time I did, like, 38, and I came around the corner, there was a cop, and he flashed his lights, and I brought it right back down. I'm like, sorry, dude. And... Anyway, he uh, left me alone, other than just give me a warning with the lights. I never get to see anybody get popped until that day. And that guy goes flying by me, and <laughs> there was two cars sitting there, not just the one. And the other one was a state trooper. That sign started flashing 75, and man, he nailed him. I, I don't know, I think you would lose your license in that one. It's definitely going to cost him a bundle of money. There was an old fire here back in this area, right around here. Quite a few years ago, but it's come back around.
anyway, that, um, he got, he definitely got popped, but I, I wonder how much that cost him, because it's double, and then, what is it, 35 miles an hour over the speed limit in a construction zone? For a semi, that's like a DUI. You don't, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't mess around with stuff like that as a professional driver. I actually saw that guy get popped. He's actually made it to the no-name turnoff. That's where he was dealt his hand. Anyway, that was just a quick trip through the uh, Glenwood Canyon, Grizzly Creek Fire. Going to get a look-see of it. Today's date is, what is today's date? August 27th, 2020. The time is 2.24 or 14.24. Yeah, these hills burn up a few years back. see the skeletons right in front of us the burn out trees most part of the game of life Phoenix, burn and then reju rejuvenate. So anyway, that's just a quick trip going through the canyon. Um, need to get make a video. I don't know if I'm gonna post this today or not. I got other videos to post ahead. Um, finally got a lot of them done, but. Get them up and running. This is a homemade trailer up here. Well, it looks like it. What we got going on here? There's the back door. It's like the the bed of a dually. No windows. A little different. I guess those were sunglasses on the front. In front of that trailer, those white things on the side with the piece that go over your ears. He's got a pair of sunglasses on the front of that tra trailer. Kind of weird. Anyway, um, like I said, it's a quick trip going through the canyon um, on our way to Arizona. Show you the fire damage. Was, parts of it was pretty bad, the other part wasn't. I don't think they should have closed it as long as they did, but I suppose they know more than I do. Anyway, I'm glad to see it's back open because it was kind of hard on, on us drivers. I mean, I'm looking at, like, to Denver from our yard to Grand Junction, roughly 250 miles. I had a three drop. They were going to pay me 264 miles. That's what I get paid by the mileage, plus the drops. That's four and a half hours heavy, four hours light. The distance between Grand Junction and, and Denver. Um, but with the fire going around, it took six hours and 45 minutes. So another two and a half hours roughly. Um,
and they were still paying the same amount. And I'm like, that's not right. I lost two and a half hours on my log, meaning I don't get paid for it. So I kind of said something to dispatch. She was, oh no, talk to Johnny about it, see. So talk to the accounting gal, Johnny, and she's all like, oh yeah, they didn't have it marked here. It's a good thing you called me. And I go, well, yeah. It's like, why, why would the driver have to take the beating for, for having to take the long way around to make the same delivery? No, they're they're setting it, getting it straight, like good. So, anyway, I mean, we did get paid for the extra mileage, but you know, it was kind of a pain in the butt to do that. It's because it took so long. Normally, it's like four hours, zip right on over. So good to be back in the saddle with that part of the highway. With the rock and roll radio. Thanks again for riding shotgun with Mountain Man Mike. Till the next time, enjoy. Peace. Let's stay between the lines. See ya.